Well folks, welcome to the video. How to refit the door trim on the Vauxhall Combo 1.7 CDTI. I do believe that the Vauxhall Corsa C has a very very similar door, so it may well be useful to you. In this part of the video we're going to examine how to just put back the door trim on this part of the, uh, the driver's side of the Combo. If you look just here, this is the handle section. These These two that, that and that have to be located properly or the handle uh, won't actually work properly when you try to um... so make sure that's located properly firstly okay make sure you put your wires back don't get them lost inside the door so make sure they're taped up there and then there's a popper here there's a popper here uh, if we look through across there's a popper there and I think there's one here too so these are easily available on eBay. Okay, the panel top locates into these three metal clips on the top here. And that's kind of what I'm going to do next. So to so locate okay, the top of the panel, push it up with the screwdriver and push it forwards with the back of your hand or hammer it forwards with the back of your hand. Okay, on the door handle, remember, remember to locate this properly into the outer door card. Uh, otherwise you will have problems. Okay. This particular screw here, this takes all the stress of pulling the handle, so make sure that one does go in. Okay, make sure you locate all the screws. Okay, there's one just there, and there's one here, which is the important one for the handle. And there's one in here, which can be a bit tricky, so you need, you need a magnetic screwdriver for that one. There's one under there, and there's one under there. Okay. So the next what we're going to do is we're going to put this back and then that back. So this piece um, has a rim, if you look at it, little catches on the rim and there's a series of poppers that just go around it. There are two clips, one here and one here and this silver clip in the middle which is uh, probably gives the main strength to the fitting. And that's it fitted. Okay so with this piece here uh, we've got five white poppers there and there's a wire has to go on and then there's a piece of anti-vibration foam that goes inside so note where the wire goes and then we're ready to put it on that item is buffed on with the back of your palm uh, and it doesn't have any screws at all and that just pushes on okay this particular uh, assembly is one of the most tricky parts of the whole thing uh, especially getting it off <laughs> the wire clip sits just like this over the handle and essentially uh, you can't really see that when you're dismantling the, the Vauxhall winder. Uh, it's very very difficult to know what's going on so a lot of people have actually struggle with it. There are quite a lot of uh, YouTube videos on, on how to remove this but essentially what you do is you, you uh, insert a, a hooky piece of wire and this is a piece of 2mm brass wire which has been bent into a hook shape and the other end of the handle is like this and essentially what you do is you stick it in like that and then you twist it so that it gets a hold of the end of the clip and you pull and that's how you get your handle off <laughs> okay so the clip goes over like this and you see the two um, the little groove here it fits into that little groove so you reshape the clip so it's more like the original shape or you can just buy some new ones, they're pretty cheap and then put it on uh, the handle now you notice that uh, the winder stub actually has a taper on it and that allows you to just uh, palm the handle on once the clip is in place don't forget the washer There you go, and that's pretty well on. It's not going to come off. Okay, the last job then is to put the trim back, and that's a push fit. So you find something like a piece of wood so that you don't damage the trim, and then just uh, lamp it down. Make sure it's slotted in fully at the other end so that this end locates properly. These were the tools that we used in the job, Torx head wrenches, 
two screwdrivers, a uh, plier for the clips on the winder, and um, a mallet just for thumping home some of the poppers and such like. Pretty easy job to do really. And there you go, that's pretty much the door trim fitted onto the Vauxhall Combo. Also I think the Corsa C has a very similar door trim to this. Almost identical I think in fact. So there you go, this is Avian Fish signing off now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for more videos. Bye for now.